Hello YouTube and welcome back. Today we're going to try something called Vibe Green Stripper. I've taken it out of the package so that I could wash it in advance, but this is what it looks like. It looks like a little green leaf. And this is the back of the package. And I got mine for $2 on sale at Kroger on clearance. And it says you can strip a variety of leafy greens and herbs from stems. Insert the stem, then pull through the hole. And so it says it works with kale and other greens and herbs. And kale is what I would use it for. So we're going to see how all this works. Oh, and it's by a company called Chefin, which I haven't heard of before. So first I'm going to take piece of leafy green kale and since there are a variety of holes you would find the one your piece fits in most here's the biggest one and the next one down it really doesn't fit so of course it's not going to go in any of these other smaller ones so I'll put it in this bigger hole and slide the greens through So far, it's a little bit of a struggle. And it's not going through that easily. And it seems to be stuck. And I just tore it. So, tore the kale off the stem. Normally what I would do with my kale is just tear it like this off of the stems. But we're going to give this little guy another shot and see how well it does. Maybe this is why it was on clearance, because it's not that great of an item. I don't normally buy gadgets like this. My next piece of kale is rather large. It has the same kind of stem as the other one. So I'm going to see how well it works just tearing the leaf off like this to de-stem it from this center um, stem, this little one. So I'm going to put it in a little bit of a smaller hole and pull it through this way. Well, and I didn't use a lot of pressure and again it broke. So I will just tear the kale. I don't really like stems, even those in the center. I try to get as much of that stuff gone as possible. I feel like it's bitter. Now let's see if we can find another size. Here's one that's not as big as the first one. But it is close to the size of the second one, but it still doesn't fit in the hole. It doesn't fit. So I'll put it in the bigger one. And I'll just slide it through, see what happens. This time I'll just try pushing it up through rather than pulling it. Well, that worked better. So putting the kale in and pushing it up through versus pulling it through seems to keep the stem from breaking. Really, this little gadget so far is seeming kind of worthless because really in the amount of time it takes to use this, I probably could have done it quicker with my hands anyway. This might work better for smaller greens and herbs, but here is another little piece of kale, not very big in diameter. I'm going to put it through not really does it fit through the medium hole too well but we'll put it back through this one and we'll push it up through trying not to pull or break and I'm struggling again with the kale and this seems again to be a waste of time so once again it just broke it's not pulling through easily, and I'm going to just finish tearing the kale this way. And when I cook kale, although this isn't a cooking video, it's a demonstration of a tool. I just throw it in a pot and steam it for five minutes. Sometimes I add a little seasoning. I don't add salt, but I will add a little, sometimes Italian seasoning or some sort of garlic seasoning. But so let's try again. 
Here is a pretty big piece of kale. And I'm going to push it through this big hole. Just gently pushing it through. And need to kind of clear it out as we go. And it just broke. The stem broke again, right there, just underneath. So, I would say this tool is a flop, for kale anyway. Um, although the package claims that you can strip kale fast with it, it doesn't take any less time. I mean, to use this is really no more time than it would take to just do it by hand and it seems so far that doing it by hand is the quicker option versus using that little tool. So I don't recommend this tool, not if you want to use it for kale. If you want to use it for greens, it shows on the package here, using it for small herbs and spices, maybe it'll work better for something like that. And I wasn't really rough at all, I mean I tried to be delicate, but this maybe that's why it was on clearance so once again this was a review on chefin by vibe greens stripper and if you want to try it for yourself maybe you, you know it'll be worth your money to use it for something else but I'm not enjoying this tool at all thank you for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and have a good day morning noon or night wherever you are bye